Hey guys, my name is Speedy Mouse, and welcome back to Subnautica. Today we're going to be talking about an experience that happened to me a few days ago. It is probably the most incredible yet terrifying thing that has ever happened to me while playing Subnautica. It is kind of hard to explain, so I will do my best. Here goes. It was a normal day, just like any other. I had just posted a Subnautica video, and it was doing pretty well. As I was scrolling through the comments, I noticed a few people who had commented about this glitch that allows the player to fall through the ground in Subnautica. So I thought, hey, let me try this out and see if this is actually a thing. Maybe I can make a video out of this. And as I would soon see, this day would not be like any other ever. So apparently, if you dock your prawn suit or sea moth in the cyclops, and then pilot the cyclops so it's right above the ground, when you hop into your submersible from the cyclops, you are able to glitch through the floor. I couldn't get this to work with the sea moth for some reason, but the prawn suit worked fine. It took me a few tries to get this to work, but when I did, the results were amazing. You could see everything from beneath. I realized you could travel through the ground from below to get back up, but you'd have to use the glitch to get back down. It was very cool. I could see the jelly shroom caves from outside. Then I decided I would navigate around the world of Subnautica a little bit more. I decided I would try and find the Grand Reef and eventually the Lost River. It took me a little while to get oriented and use the landmarks to find my way, but eventually I found the Grand Reef from below. This took a long time because it can be very difficult to navigate from below, and by some stroke of luck I found the Grand Reef entrance to the Lost River. I followed the entrance to the bone field. It was really cool. I could see the ghost leviathan from the outside. Navigating the Lost River from the inside is already hard. Navigating it from the outside is nearly impossible, but eventually, after taking some wrong turns, I found myself in the cove tree near the entrance to the lava zones, and I eventually made it down to the lava zone. It looked really, really cool from the outside. And this is where things started to get weird. I looked down and noticed this weird shimmering black thing beneath me. I went down a little bit, decided it was nearly nothing, and traveled back up. But as I traveled a little bit further, I noticed a square hole-like thing beneath me. This is when my curiosity got the best of me. I decided to explore. I went down maybe a hundred meters, and when I looked back up, I realized I was trapped. There was a wall above me. It had allowed me to enter, but would not let me leave. I was completely and utterly trapped. At first, I figured there must be an exit somewhere around here, but as I explored more and more, I felt more and more hopeless. I cannot describe the atmosphere in what I call the box labyrinth. It was dark. There was no sound. I felt extremely claustrophobic and lost. I could not find my way, even after looking around for about 30 minutes. Eventually, I was hopelessly lost, and I decided to turn off the darkness effect in the water that would allow me to see. This did allow me to see better, but it also just allowed Subnautica to play even more tricks on me. I would see an opening, sometimes even the aurora above me, and I would head towards it. Just as I was about to reach it, the walls would load in, making me feel more and more trapped. And Subnautica did this over and over and over again. I was getting more and more hopeless. During this time I would tab out and do some research on what this was. I did find out what this was, but I'll tell you about that a little bit later. Eventually I decided to head straight down. If I went down 8192 meters, I would teleport to the surface. I spawned in the prawn suit, which would allow me to fall fast, and I did just that. I eventually reached the surface, but that is not the end of the story here. As I was researching this topic, I came across this archived reddit thread. I'll put the link in the description so you can look at it a little bit more. But here's what I learned. Beneath the ground in Subnautica is a box. They, the people in the thread, called it the Labyrinth, or the Box. I'm just gonna call it both. This is apparently a testing ground that the developers use for testing new creatures, I think. Not many people have found the Box Labyrinth, but those who have don't really talk about it for some reason. It's like once you've found it, you're automatically entered into the Box Club. The rules are, nobody talks about the box. Well, I guess I just broke that rule. Many people have expressed how terrifying it is and how lonely it makes you feel. It really has a horrific atmosphere to it. But anyways, the only ways you can get out is through console commands or swimming all the way into the void. People have also expressed how nobody talks about this for some reason. You'd think there'd be lots of discussion about this, but I guess not. I guess not many people have found this. I'm lucky to be one of those people. But yeah, I discovered a box labyrinth beneath Subnautic that nobody talks about for some reason. I really urge you guys to go and try this out if you can. Let me know in the comment section below if you've experienced this or if something weirdly similar to this has happened. Also, let me know if you have any video ideas, that will be greatly appreciated. And as always, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, it helps me out a ton. Plus it's free. Help me reach 200 subscribers as fast as possible. Also, please check out my other content. I have lots of Subnautica theory videos, Subnautica glitch videos, and gameplay videos. Check out my Discord, Patreon, and Twitch. The links are in the description. And I will see you guys in the next video.